Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about looking further and into great detail all of the data mining that Ninji has done, but from the perspective of someone who is starting to learn programming. I'm about mm, three quarters of the way through what's called a Python programming course. And um, through that, I've learned a lot about the structure of how uh, programming languages work. Now, Python is a great language. It's one of the most current languages right now that most a lot of programmers support and definitely um, think that is the future of what programming will become. And um, although Animal Crossing itself was written in C++, the structures are basically very similar when it comes to functions and variables and how it's organized and c categorized, you can still gain a lot of insight and knowledge from reading C++ code, even though you um, only know Python. So that being said, I went in and I looked at the code that Ninji provided uh, through his tweets. And I, I realized that I did understand a lot more of what I was seeing. And so I thought it would be a great video to share with all of you. And it would be nice to see someone kind of explain how the code works in layperson's terms. So here we are. Um, I'm on the site where they basically took Ninji's thread and made it into one thread. And this is in one of the threads about farming. Okay, so he did reveal, this was way back in April, but where he, he correctly predicted um, all of the new updates that came to Animal Crossing New Horizons. And that was the um, things like diving and uh, the fireworks and all that kind of thing. So well, uh, red and the art gallery, and those were all, those all came true. Now we're at the point where we're at the fall update and we're all waiting anxiously for some word, some hint, something about the fall update. And I'm here to talk to you about this particular part of the code where Ninji talked about it in, in a very subtle way. He didn't quite say that it was what he, what he, what he was trying to say was it was implied that this was going to happen, but he was not 100% sure. And um, from what I know about coding, uh, I can honestly say I am 100% sure that farming is coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons. And we're talking farming like it is a serious function in the game. The reason why I can 100% put my confidence behind this is because of the way this code is structured. And I will show you why I think this is the case. Now in here, uh, whatever he decompiled from this function, the mysterious empty query function two. Um, this means, uh, the mysterious empty query function two means that um, the developers at um, Nintendo didn't want data miners to find out what this means. Now, data mining is not quite the correct term for what I guess data miners are doing. Uh, data mining is actually something to do with uh, something else, more to do with statistics and looking at statistics and making them into a visual sort of um, graph or something like that. It's not quite what what Ninji is doing. If you were to give it the correct technical name, this is actually called APK mining. APK is are, are small bundles of code, I guess you could say, or small packages of programs that are all kind of linked together in order to make a game. And um, what you're what they're doing is they're taking relevant piece APKs and then breaking them down by their code. And this is what data mining is when, when well, this is what people are calling it, but it's not really that's that's not really what it is. So anyways, it's, it's not really relevant, is it? Anyway, but I just wanted to just point that out. So FG item, FG, we're going to assume that FG means farming. That's what I think it means. And by calling it FG item, mysterious empty query function two, you're basically saying that there's some sort of farming function in the game that works similarly to uh, let me go back to 
in the tweet. Whoops. Uh, how do I go back? Oh, that's the graphic. Okay, here. Now if, uh, we're going to go to the next one. Um, here you can see that. Okay, uh, FG item, C tour by name. This is another mysterious empty function. So he, he even points it out. This in purple is Ninji's um, comments. And he's saying, he's pointing out basically that these are mysterious empty functions. We don't know what they do because the developers have covered up the what the true name is. But you can see from here, because these are leftover code, FG item is flower. It works similarly to the flowering mechanic that's in the game right now. And that's basically when you plant a flower and you grow a flower and they go through the stages of bud to leaves to full bloom flower. And it's the same thing. It's the same exact growth pattern. Only, uh, and then is this money means it doesn't do the same thing as like a money tree. And then it goes over here and it'll say, get kind, this money, is this money? If it's not money, then it goes to, it goes and grows the same way as a flower does. And there are other variables, uh, lost quest. Oh, that's for when you do a treasure hunt. So if, if it's like a treasure hunt, then, you know, it does not go f forward anymore. Like it just, it's just a treasure hunt because you have to dig in order to, there are sometimes when you have to dig and then sometimes when you just plant it. Uh, so that's basically just pointing that out and, and, and all the different, I guess, if you were to think about it in a visual, more visual way or more layperson's way, it's like choose your own adventure. If you choose this way, you're going to go to the next step after that. If you're going to choose this, you're going to go to that um, side of the story and so on and so forth. And that's what's happening there. Uh, here, uh, we're at a different part of the code here. It says something about swing shake and it's in quotes, which means it's a, it's a string and it's referencing uh, a part of the code or maybe a part of the code that uh, does something to do with swinging and shaking um, a tree. That's what that is. It doesn't say, it doesn't define anything because it's the code is hidden. Uh, and then there's, which interesting here, which was pointed out by a highlight is the bush swing shake. That's a little strange. Uh, we don't usually shake the bushes. So that might be something that is in future updates that we need to do, or it could mean nothing. That could all change. We don't know. And here is uh, uh, pointing it out here. If mystery flag one is false, if mystery flag one is false, He's the pick up flower, full item, pick up flower, full item. These are all, um, this is an if loop and we have a while loop. It's referencing loops. So these, these loops will not occur if the mystery flag one is false. So if whatever event, if, if, if you cannot do it, all of this will happen. And it looks like it just becomes just a regular full flower item. And let's see here. If mystery flag one is true, it becomes a vegetable. So this is what happens when it's a flower. And this is what happens when it's a vegetable. So maybe the farming is something to do with seeds. We don't know. It could be seeds. It could be who knows. And maybe we have to plant the seeds and we have, and then what happens is it goes through the whole if it's, if it's a vegetable seed, it will go through this cycle of growth. Whereas if it's just a flower, obviously it'll just, it'll do either nothing or it will go through the flower um, stages. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. There's a lot of, a lot of steps going on here. It looks to me that uh, the variables here, as you can see, variable 10, variable nine, variable six is the same for vegetables, variable 10, nine, and six which means that the growth patterns will be similar. There'll be like um, a small small plant to a medium plant and then the full grown plant. That's what the, the structure, the organization of how the, how the plant will grow will be similar. But of course there will be different um, items by itself. 
okay and uh yeah so that's what i could devise from the code and uh here this one is very interesting and this is this is um basically he's saying when you go through and these events occur kind of like choose your own adventure i choose this door i choose this door i choose what door number one door number two door number three uh, if you pick up flower, it goes through this event. If, it, if I pick up a vegetable, it goes through this event. If I pick up a bell, uh, it goes through this event. And what he says is when you pick up a vegetable, um, it, it doesn't state in the code that um, it, it's, it doesn't say in the code what exactly happens, but it does have leftover uh, code in here that says I won't have any room for this in my pockets if I pluck it so I'll just leave it the way it is so it was referencing something something to do with vegetables and this code was was meant to be used with the pick up vegetable full item event they didn't bother removing it so it's referencing 11 13 and 14 so yeah these were left in 11 13 and 14 or 11 and 14 were referenced here uh, and this one is uh, 12 which was removed okay so that's that's basically how it works with the code and so this is why I believe that farming is going to be an actual full functioning mechanic in Animal Crossing New Horizons and this is the evidence very strong evidence of this and I'm not really sure why Ninji didn't s put his um, support I guess behind what he found out I would say even I know that I'm not the most experienced programmer in the world in fact I have considered myself pretty much a beginner and I'm nowhere near where he is in his experience but I do know enough to to see to know and sort of understand what I'm seeing and so this is I think good evidence that this is going to happen in the near future we don't know if it's going to happen in the fall or if it's going to happen in the spring most likely though I think it is fall because that is when like in reality we farmers harvest harvest during the harvest season which is usually october november around there and uh, throughout the entire it's a global thing um everybody if they live in the northern hemisphere will harvest their crops in the fall and there are festivals all over the world that celebrate this fact and that is definitely something that's in the game we all know about franklin and the harvest festival and um, all of that so this is probably coming in the fall very very shortly we will hear about it soon so i am going to definitely make a decision to make this prediction now farming is coming in the fall and this is evidence for it okay and that's it for my video i don't want to make it too long i hope it was helpful for more information and content like this please like and subscribe thank you so much for your support I have currently now at 4,100 subscribers and I'm, I'm elated because I never even thought that anyone would even watch this channel. So thank you. I hope to grow it and I hope to make lots more videos like this. Bye for now.